Alyssa, aka Solar. And I'm Ruben, aka Lunar. We are teachers on hiatus. Yes, and this season we are hiking the northern half of the Continental Divide Trail, about 1600 miles. Yes, and we are only doing half of it this year instead of doing the whole thing like we had intended because of Rona. Right. And uh, we're doing it a little bit differently than what is normal. So we have a couple of cars and a couple of friends and we will be shuttling ourselves and self-supporting to avoid uh, contaminating these small vulnerable towns along the trail as uh, coronavirus is still very present in our community. Indeed. So see you on the trail. See you on the trail. Okay. All right. We're about to start the Continental Divide Trail. First steps heading out here from the Deep Jack Trailhead. And we will be headed south in a northwardly direction. That's right. So we're still Sobos, but we're going to be moving our cars, shuttling them along a northward route. Right. Interesting. So, we'll tell you more about that later. On the CDT. Woo! Not bad. Not bad at all. And went on his butt on accident, but I'm gonna go on post. There's rocks there. Watch out. A plus. Look at that sunset. Oh man. So this trail has been littered with this beautiful pink quartz and it's just such a wonderful thing to look at. It's just so pretty. Look at it. It's everywhere. Mm, sunrise. Coffee. Peanut butter, walnuts, and banana chips. And my love. Mm. A+. Plus. Looks like an A-plus moment to me. Looks like the boys are just hanging out. <laughs> Doing their chit-chat. A-plus! Last break of the first section. Everyone smile when you sell them. Ah! We finished our first section. 
And we have pizza. Reward pizza. Reward pizza. What are we gonna do, Tony? I mean, helium. <laughs> We're gonna do some laundry and play some miniature golf. Ooh, safety first though. Mm -hmm. Let's wipe those handles down. Alright. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're shot. <laughs> we need some ricochet action. Are you videotaping this amazing hole in one? Mm -hmm. videotaping you. <laughs> Good timing. So the CDG is notable for getting lost. We are just basically have walked through like at least three or four miles of just snow and we've lost the trail a few times but I think we found it again. So the trail is here but it's under snow so a lot of times we're just kind of walking for a while on the trail and then Walking where we think the trail is, and then looking at our gut hook and yeah. heading back towards the trail. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nutty. It's pretty nutty, I would say. We don't know where the trail is. It could be anywhere. That's cool. It's fine. So day one was rough. Oh boy. We just had... I've never hiked on that much snow at once. It was just pretty much 10 miles of straight snow, and then another six miles of on and off snow slash marshy wet walking it was just river crossing it was just it was just a wet mucky mess today um whew. the cdg is hard man trail hurdles miles and miles of it just so many blowdowns in this barn area boo this is this is like the worst. Oh my god. Well, we had a nice trail for a little while. But as you can see, it's now just rocks. Boo. What did we learn? Well, our air mattress was low on pressure because we like it that way. And uh, we came to a higher elevation, and it increased by itself. It got really full, and we didn't know that's how that happens. Can our science friend tell us why? Yeah, it's because we're at a higher altitude where there's less air pressure. So the, the pressure inside didn't actually change, but the pressure outside decreased. So the volume of your uh, air mattress had to increase to compensate. Wow! <laughs>